Uh, this is a question on permutations and combination. It came up in IFT previously. Let's see what it says. A student is required to answer six out of ten. Six out of ten questions in an exam. The sections are questions are divided into two groups, each containing five questions. So first group, second group. You have five questions in each. So overall, six. Right? She is not allowed to attempt more than four questions in each group. The number of ways in which the students can choose the six questions is how many? So you cannot choose more than <coughs> more than four. So let's see. If you have, you can have four and two. You can have uh, three and three, or you can have two and four. These are the three possible cases. Okay, the first one would be 5C4 into 5C2, which will be the same as this one. Only thing is it's the other way around. So we can just multiply by 2. Or you can do 5C3 into 5C3. This will be your answer. 5C4 is 5, 2, 5C2 is 10. 5C3 is same as 5C2, which is 10 into 10. This will give you 100. This will also give you 100. 100 plus 100 is 200. Option C. That finishes your question. Pretty straightforward questions. A question on permutation and combination came up in IFT. Roughly a minute to solve this.